Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, a 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson 12 of the physics one module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem by yourself before watching my explanation. All right, so here we're dealing with a redox reaction or a reduction oxidation reaction. As you can imagine, in a redox reaction based on the name, one species or element or molecule is going to be reduced and the other one is going to be oxidized. Now, good way to remember what these two different things mean. It's hard to keep these apart sometimes. Oil rig. Okay, perfect. So the way to remember this is oxidation is losing electrons, reduction is gaining electrons. You might have heard this mnemonic before. Okay, we've got that down. Another key thing to know is every single redox reaction is actually made up of two half reactions, which makes sense because we have the one reaction where electrons are being lost and the other reaction where the thing that's gaining the electrons is getting them. And we have our two half reactions here. As you might guess, we can get the full reaction that we're looking for by putting these two half reactions together. But in order to do this, we need to figure out which one is going to be losing electrons and which one is going to be gaining electrons. A good way to figure this out is that the one with the higher standard reduction potential is always going to be reduced, which makes sense, right? It's reduction potential. And so it has more potential to be reduced. Keep in mind, though, there is such a thing as a negative standard reduction potential. So when we're talking about highest, we're not just talking about the biggest numbers, we're talking about the most positive numbers. And that's going to be this right here. Finally, it's important to recognize that once we get that figured out and we put these reactions together, we need to make sure that the number of electrons balances out. Let's go back to the problem now, and I'll show you how we do that. All right, so like we talked about before, we've got a higher standard reduction potential right here, which means this is the one that's going to be reduced. Remember oil rig, reduce is gain electrons. So this equation we can keep just the way it is. Au3 plus plus 3e minus goes to Au. Perfect. But this one has the lower standard reduction potential in this case, and so it's going to be oxidized. It's not going to be reduced. In other words, it's going to lose electrons. So we want to flip this equation around let me cross this off here. We want to flip this around so that we write an equation where electrons are lost. The way we have it written out right now, electrons are being gained. So let's flip this around so that we start with the electrons here all together with the iodine. And then we come and those two electrons are lost. Do you see how we flipped that around? So here on the left side, electrons are being gained. Here, electrons are being lost. Now we can add these two half reactions together now that they've been ordered the right way, but we need to make sure the number of electrons cancel out. So we have e, two electrons right here, two E minus, and we have three right here. So that's not going to work. The way we can do this is just pretty simple. We'll multiply the bottom by two. We'll multiply this reaction right here by three. And that way we can balance these out. So if I multiply these and then I add these equations together, we can see here three times two, I'm going to end up on my final equation with 6i minus. Perfect. I'm going to have that money on that side. I'm also going to have two gold ions right here. Perfect. And just like we were hoping, we're going to have six electrons. Then coming on to the other side, similar math, we're going to have 3i2. six electrons and two gold right here, two AU. Now that these are the same, we can balance, we can cancel, excuse me, we can cancel these electrons out. So that's going to be our final answer right there. But notice I've got a six here. You've got a, I've got some big numbers here. I don't see a six anywhere on here. This six plus two, and then the three I two plus the two AU, that doesn't check out. I do see, though, a couple different ones that have the same elements on each side as I do. These right here. So I can cancel these out. I know these are going to be wrong. But how can I see which of these is right? Well, if I divide both sides by 2 now, divide this 6 by 2, I'm going to end up with 3i minus. Divide this right here by 2, plus au3 plus. And then same thing over here, 
plus three halves I2. And then finally plus a u. And that checks out perfectly with this right here, which is great. That's going to be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and check that out. Awesome. Perfect. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how we can help you maximize your MCAT score. Look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.